All right, I think this is the farthest away I've ever been from a camera. Also, you'll realize I'm not wearing a jersey tonight. It's just a Boston shirt. All right, Stanley Cup Finals, Game 4. Washington came out of this one with a four-goal lead. Um, 6-2. And let's talk about, um... First off, let's talk about a couple things before I get into the goals. We have Holtby with 30 shots on goal, 28 saves. Um, Marc-Andre Fleury, 24 shots on goal, only 18 saves. There were a total of 9 power points tonight. There's a tripping penalty on on um, Carlson in the first period. There's a tripping penalty on Eller in the first period. Second period, there's a tripping penalty on Carlson again. Cross-checking penalty on Tom Wilson. Slashing penalty on James Neal. There was a um, tripping penalty on Kuznetsov. Then, in the third period, there was a Wilson and Reeves penalty, so it was a 4-on-4. Four four. Then, there was another penalty on the Vegas Golden Knights, and a cross-checking penalty on the Golden Knights, leading to a 5-on-3. Now, um, Ger uh, Gerard Gallant was very angry tonight, with good reason. His team is, in my opinion, crumbling. I'll get to why I said that in a minute. His team was not very good tonight. The Golden Knights did not shine through whatsoever. And as a result, they probably just cost themselves a Stanley Cup. And that's not something you want when you're in the finals. And this tonight was a very important game for Vegas to win. And they didn't win it. Unfortunately, I guess. I'm pulling for my hometown of Washington, D.C. for this. There's a lot of angry Vegas fans out there. There's a lot of one three ones and cross-crease passes that Vegas was using, which is something that, um, I mean, Washington was using, that Vegas has been using all playoffs. And Washington finally learned how to beat Vegas at their own game, and as a result, it's costing Vegas a whole series. Now, with the goals, there was a goal 9 minutes 54 seconds into the first period. Um, TJ Oshi, it was assisted by uh, Kuznetsov and Backstrom. It's a power play goal. Second goal, 16-26 by Tom Wilson. Also by uh, Kuznetsov. It's his second assist. Smith, uh, Devontae smith Pelly 1939 into the first. Wrist shot, unassisted. Second period. Uh, Carlson, 1523 into the second. Also assisted by Kuznetsov, his third assist. And TJ Oshi. Alright, then we get into the third period. James Neal, wrist shot, 543 into the third. Assisted by Halla and Miller. Um, Riley Smith, I believe. I think that's his first name. Sorry if I got that wrong. Smith, 12-26 into the third. Um, assisted by uh, Marcheseau and Spisa. Washington gets another goal. Kipney slap shot, 13-39 into the third. Assisted by Backstrom, his second assist tonight. And Oshi, second assist as well. Then, while on the 5-on-3, uh, Connolly gets a wrist shot. Uh, goes in, power play goal. Assisted by Backstrom, his third assist, and Kuznetsov, his fourth assist. No goals from Ovechkin tonight, not even an assist from Ovechkin. Although, Ovi did get very close a few times. I think, after this game especially, Marc-Andre Fleury just lost his Smythe trophy. It's either going to go to Alexander Ovechkin, Evgeny Kuznetsov, or Brayden Holtby. I can't think of any better people to get the con Smythe. I mean, just look at this. Vegas was projected to win by a lot of people. I predicted this before the season started. I was like, Washington, Vegas. I have papers from before the season started predicting that. 
And I said, this is Washington's year. I'm a Boston fan first, but I am born and raised Washington, D.C. First game I saw was a Caps-Pins game. Pretty, pretty funny. And then they come first. My hometown comes before my favorite team. And I want to see them succeed. I said at the beginning of this year, this is the Capitals' year. This is when they do it. This is 100% when they do it. They're going to make it. They're going to win the cup. They're going to bring it home. Doubts, 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 doubts. They're going to choke. They're not going to make the playoffs. Ovechkin's going to retire with no Stanley Cup. Well, guess what? You're probably wrong. They're leading a 3-1 series. And with the last game being a 6-2 game, I'm pretty sure you're looking at your 2018 Stanley Cup champions. And I will shed tears when Alexander Ovechkin holds up that Stanley Cup. Because that man deserves that Stanley Cup more than anyone on that ice right now. He, and you know what? Not just him. Oshie deserves it. Smith, Pelly, Holt me. They all deserve it. Because they've gotten so much shit. Excuse me. They've gotten so much shit for the past 44 years as a team. Even before they were in that team. That team has been nothing but a joke to people. And now, they're proving everyone wrong. And suddenly, people are realizing they're a good team. And, like I said, in my personal opinion, we're going to go out to Vegas. We're going to win Game 5. And you're looking at your 2018 Stanley Cup champions. Your Washington Capitals. Like, comment, subscribe, leave your opinions below. Um, tomorrow also, uh, Gallant's supposed to be visiting with officials to talk about, um, head snapping. You know, people are looking back laughing at the other team just to get, uh, scoring opportunities by causing fights and penalties. And it's ridiculous, but he's talking to them tomorrow. So yeah, Capitals are probably your Stanley Cup champions. Vegas can win next year. I know that sounds rude of me, but... Vegas can win next year. Let Washington have their year. They've waited long enough. Almost four and a half decades. So, like, comment, subscribe, leave constructive criticism, not hate. I'll read it, reply, do whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you Thursday night for the Game 5 recap of the Stanley Cup Finals. Where, fingers crossed, we might be seeing the Washington Capitals win the Stanley Cup for the first time in 44 years of their career. I will see you then. Best of luck to the Capitals. Best of luck to Ovechkin. Vegas, I'm sorry, but we'll see you next year.